Hello, welcome back to Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss about system global area. So, so here is our overall view that what where we are. We are essentially discussing about the memory structure, and in our last videos, we have already finished discussing about PGA and UGA. And in this video, we are going to focus on introduction to SGA and what SGA consists of, and what are different parts of SGA, and then how SGA is being managed. So this is the goal of uh, of this of this video to introduce you to SGA. Right. So SGA is basically uh, a pull up memory where uh, all the you know, dedicated server processes and the background processes can access. And this pull up memory consists of different types of pool. Like one thing is called shared pool. Okay, so this is one the shared pool. So shared pool is a share in a memory area where we store the shared cursor or the dictionary cache or the PLSQL procedure in the compiled version. Like you now whenever you um, invoke a package, then the package thing is going to come and then you know past uh, com compiled code is going to come to the shared pool. So shared pool essentially you know the key concept of the RDBMS is that keep in some shared location and then share it across multiple different uh, clients or different dedicated server processes. And then uh, the, the next one uh, uh, is called uh, DB buffer cache or basically DB buffer cache and the redo buffer cache together they call a pool that that pool has no name called null pool. Okay. So essentially no name but it contains the most important thing which is called database buffer cache plus redo buffer. The, the next one is called streams pool. So, so in case of uh, Oracle streams uh, like an Oracle streams is a product which basically replicate the data from one database to another database right and then uh, Oracle streams use uh, this uh, streams pool to manipulate uh, those uh, replication right so this is a streams pool and it's not necessary that every database will contain streams pool if we have configured Oracle streamings to work and then Oracle will going to allocate a pool of memory for, for those operations and called streams pool then we have something called Java pool so you can also run Java application inside Oracle database to run Java application you need a JVM so what you need to do is that the fixed amount of memory for for JVM that is running on your database is allocated and that memory is come from Java pool and the last one is called large pool and this memory is essentially used for parallel execution features and also whenever we are doing a rman backup rman backup read the disk io from this large pool so instead of you know does a lot of you know the backup happens using the disk io and this large pool is the memory used for doing the rman backup so essentially these are the you know overall uh, different types of pools and then also we have keep pool and recycle pool and then you know keep pool is something that you want to keep the data you know persistent across for, for the uh, life of the database so that is a keep pool and keep pool is basically a part of your db buffer cache and also a recycle pool where we can say that you know if you know this area is always recyclable so that means you know these two pools do not uh, follow the lru list recent use algorithm and so on so essentially these are the different types of pool and then all these pools will have their like for example the shared pool may be different you know divide into the library cache dictionary cache and then you know control cache and so on so essentially like you know what we can do we have a, a dynamic performance table called v dollar sga start so by querying v dollar sga start we can figure out what are the memory or what is the what is the currently how much memory is allocated to what kind of pools so let's take a quick demo 
so this is first time let me describe the v dollar SCS start so this has three columns pool name and bytes so let's say I want to find out select distinct pool from v dollar SC start so it looks like now I have a null pool then I have Java pool, share pool and large pool. I do not have any stream pool, I don't have any say, recycle pool or keep pool. So I have four different you know, different types of pools here in my database. So those are this. So how do I know like you know how much memory they are uh, they are consuming or what is the part of you know so as I told you like you know the share pool, share pool maybe have consist of different things, right? So if you select name, comma pool comma bytes from v dollar sga start right so select name comma pool comma bytes from v dollar sga start where pool is equal to shared pool okay so it looks like there are basically it looks like the shared pool whatever you are we are talking the shared pool is consist again of 594 different things okay and and in and then we are also saying that how many bytes are allocated for those 594 different things so like you know, don't worry about this kg and all those things this is you know nothing to deal about a lot of things maybe you know just how they do for advanced users and so on but what is essentially you can see like you know how much memory this cell pool consume and by what you can do we can do a group group by so let's try to find out you know how much memory is consumed by different pools so if I do this select pool comma name then I do sum sum of bytes and then I say from SCA sorry V dollar SCA underscore start so V dollar SCA start group by pool comma name okay so if you see right so like for example shared pool right so so this is how for example large pool is just only one chunk of memory that is going to consume this much okay so let's uh, do this edit this thing so that we can write something you know, better so select pool so we just want to uh, get this thing by pool name right we don't want to give a name so that it will be easier to visualize so it looks like my my buffer pool is consist of uh, looks like 322 MB right and then Java pool is consist of 4 MB shared pool is consist of about 159 MB and the large pools consist of about 167 MB okay so this combination of all these things will come around 512 MB or whatever that is essentially what is the amount of SGA that, that I have. So if I do select okay. so it looks like you now I'm about consuming 503 uh, megabyte of uh, SGA. So my SGA site is essentially 503 MB. So by as I told you, by using v dollar SGA start, we can figure out how much memory that we are consuming at this point. All right, and then by selecting how much we consume per shared pool, how much we consume per, per null pool, and so on, we can also figure out you know how much memory is consumed. And then this is what is basically gives us a lot of tuning parameter, like you know, based on this 
values we decide if we if we have enough amount of share pool or not if you do not have a big share pool if you are not having a good buffer cache then then maybe the performance is going to suffer and this is what is you know understanding of this this values right you now whatever i'm showing you here in this in these things it is makes a lot of sense like you know how this thing is really uh, working out in your database so how do i manage uh, so so how do i manage sga again as i told you the sga can be managed in two ways either by manual or by automatic in the manual mode i have to uh, set bunch of parameters and you know for example if i want to set my uh, share pool right so what i can do i there's a init dot or a parameter called shared underscore pool underscore size okay so by 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 putting by setting up this value i can set what is the maximum memory that my share pool size share pool can contain and then again something like you know we can do let's say for example you want to set your database buffer cache so there is a parameter called db underscore block underscore cache underscore size so let's say if you are a 8 kilobyte block and then you are your size is say, set to 100 that means your buffer db buffer uh, cache size is 800 kb so on and then if you want to set your uh, redo log buffer so you can do a another parameters called log underscore buffer okay you set some values and then similarly like you know if you want to uh, set your java pool size then there is a parameter called java underscore pool underscore size by putting this parameter you can set the values of uh, this thing so essentially what i'm saying is that there is a way that you can size all this individual uh, pools also another way that that we learn that uh, you can have automatically set one value and that value is sga underscore target so if you set sga underscore target then automatically oracle is going to calculate based on your workload how much is a share pool how much a large pool java pool and all this thing and then another important thing is that all these parameters can be tuned online that means when the database is up and running if you think that you know log buffer is you know is, is you know basically we, we have assigned log buffer a big value but we are not really using that or we assigned a java pool size but we never use any java you know you know we are not executing any java calls so in that case what is going to do if you set those things as an automatic mode oracle is going to basically take and make sure that you know these things tuned properly in during the runtime okay and then starting from oracle 10g release release you can manage this thing by using automatic mode which is the preferred way to do these things and the last thing is that how do I know like you know how much is my current uh, SGA target basically the database which I am running right now is based on this you know automatic management and then if I do a parameter so parameter SGA underscore target so it looks like my my SGA value is 480 megabyte okay so it's a 480 megabyte then what you can do we can increase you know we can alter the parameters as a target to say 512 mb i cannot do this thing because i don't have enough memory on this computer right now so therefore i can't really show you those things okay but whenever you alter this parameter as a target we increase the value of as target then automatically the different um, you know pools are going to be incremented uh, accordingly okay so this is how uh, your sga is going to be you know your, your sga is and then how this sga is going to be managed